Hi everyone, my name is Akuredi Adenike. You are highly welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time of you coming to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I upload new video. If you are my old subscribers, I really appreciate you for coming back to my channel. Thank you so, so much. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful stylish kimono top showing on the screen. This is the Ankara fabric I'm using for the tutorial today. It's one of African print. I have one yard and 16 inches here. So the length of my, you can use more than that. It depends on your body size and how free you want it. The length of my top today is 25 inches. I'm going to add one inch to it. That is six, uh, 26 inches. I don't need to add any seam allowance for shoulder joining to it because I'm not joining the shoulder. This is the length of my fabric and this is the width of it. So I'm going to fold towards the width of my fabric. Now that I'm done folding my fabric into two equal parts towards the width, I'm going to fold it again towards the length, just like this. This is my folded edge, which indicates my shoulder line and this is my center front and back. I'm cutting the two together like a kimono top. So here is my open edge as you can see one, two, three, four. The length of my top is 25 inches, which is here. The remaining one inch is for aiming allowance. So from the center front and center back here, I'm going to measure out 3.5, which is the width of my neckline, both front and back. From my shoulder, I'm going to measure out my neck, my back neck depth, which is one inch. And my front neck depth is seven inches, which is here. If you want it more than that, you can add more inches to it. I'm going to connect it with my ruler. I'm connecting the front neckline sla slantly like this to form a sh V shape. I'm going to use the curved side of my ruler to connect my back neckline just like this. If you are good at your free hand, you can make use of it. And from my center back and center front here, I'm going to measure out half of my shoulder on my shoulder line. My shoulder is 15 inches divided by 2 will give me 7.5, which is here. So from this point, I'm going to measure out the length of my sleeve, which is 14 inches. I added one inch to it for hemming allowance. If you want yours to be more than that, you can increase it. So from my shoulder, I'm going to measure out my waistline. My normal waistline is 17 inches. I deducted 2 inches from it to make my top look stylish very well. Because at the end of the day, the bottom part of my top is going to look like peplum. So I'm going to connect my waist after measuring it out. So I'm measuring 15 inches from my shoulder. This is the elastic I'm using for the waistline, which is of half inch. So I'm going to connect it now. So here is my waistline from the shoulder line. So I'll let this line reflect to all the parts that my waistline is, both front and back. So I'm making all the markings on the wrong side of the fabric to make my job neat. Make sure you do that as well. So I'll now cut the neckline, but I'm cutting the back neckline first. So I'm going to notch my shoulder line for me to avoid any silly mistakes. So on the center front too, I'm going to notch it a little for me to know where the front, where the center front is. So I'm going to refold my fabric for me to cut out the front neckline, just like this. I'm going to spread it and fold it again. So here is, the, here is my waistline for the back part. This is my neck, my back neckline. Here is my front neckline. And here is my front waistline. So I'm going to refold it, like I said, for me to cut out my front neckline. 
and make sure the notching on the shoulder align on each other. Make sure you fold it very well, like I'm doing. This is the notching that is on the shoulder line. I'll make sure it's aligned on each other. So after folding, here is it, as you can see, this is the notch on the neck and the shoulder line. So here is my front neck line. So I'm going to cut it out now. So here is it now. I'm done cutting. So now that I'm done cutting, here is it after spreading it out. My front neckline and my back neckline together as you can see i'm cutting facing for my neckline and here is another fabric i folded into two for my neckline so the length of my facing is 18 inches as you can see so i'm going to place my top on it like this for me to cut out my neckline both front and back Just place it on it like this and mark my neckline out before cutting it. So I have five inches here, and now I also have five inches here. So I'm going to remove my top and continue cutting my measuring 5 inches all around for me to shape out my facing. Just shape it anyhow you want it. So I'm going to cut it out now. So now that I'm done cutting, this is what I have. So I'll easily spread my top out and place my facing on my neckline. Let the right side of the facing face the right side of my top. Before stitching the neckline, I'm going to hem my facing all round with quarter of an inch. Better still, you can overlock yours. So I'll go ahead and stitch my neckline with half inch. I'm done stitching my neckline. Make sure you trim out all the excess thread or fabric out to make your job neat. But before I could stitch my neckline, I use print to hold my facing down. That is what I'm removing. So after I'm removing the print, I'm going to notch my neckline with quarter of an inch all around. After notching, I'm going to flip it in just like this and give it good press before I continue. So here is the wrong side of my top. So I'll go ahead and hem the bottom of my top double fold it like this with that one hinge that i said earlier i'm doing the same thing on the second part of my top which is the front part at the bottom of it so after all that this is what i have i've hemmed the bottom of my top both front and back so i'll go ahead and take my elastic and place it on that line that is my waistline so i'll go ahead to my machine and i'll be dragging it and stitch on the elastic for me to shape out my waistline i'll do the same thing on the second side drag and stitch drag and stitch till i reach the second side of my top Now I'm done with the elastic. As you can see, this is the right side of my top. It's looking beautiful already. And so I'll go ahead and place it on each other like this. Here is the wrong side of my top. 
for me to stitch both sides. Make sure you place it on each other very well. Let it align on each other on the bottom and on both sides. For me to stitch my side now, I'm going to come about one inch above the elastic before I start my stitching. So I'm starting my stitching from there to the bottom of my top. Measure one inch upward like this. So this is where I'm starting my stitching for the side. So I'm stitching it with one inch. I'm going to do the same thing on the second side of it. So here is my top. I've stitched both sides. So I'm going to turn it to the right side for me to explain how you can go about the sleeve. The sleeve edge. I'm going to hem it as well. I'm trying to turn in it very well. So later I'm going to finish up my neckline with, I mean, finish up my facing with my glue gum or better still I can use my needle and thread. So this is my sleeve now. I'm going to hem the edges of my sleeve by folding it like this. Double fold and stitch from here till I reach from the from the from that one hinge that I measured above my elastic. I'm going to stitch it all round for me to knit it up. After doing all that I explained, I'm going to give it a good press and put it on for you guys to see. The finishing look of this beautiful top i love it so much i can't wait to rock it you know here is the finishing look of this beautiful top guys if my tutorial has been helpful to you please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel if you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing or you have a style that you want us to talk about please feel free to join my facebook group details to sewing created by akorede adenike i'm on twitter and instagram at akorede adenike Please show some love by liking and following my page on Facebook at Akuridi Adenike Sewing Tutorial. See you in my next video guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Bye bye.